Blog.com. Hey, this is Josh from ProfitBlog.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up your favicon on uh, your WordPress site. Right now, I've just got the uh, standard WordPress 2011 theme, I think, uh, if I remember right. And I'm going to set up the favicon for it. If you don't know what a favicon is, it's the little icon that shows up in your tabs or sometimes in your address bar, depending on what browser you have or if you have bookmarks, uh, anything like that. It's just a little tiny icon that goes up there. Makes your site look, uh, look a little bit more professional and like you care about your site when you have a good favicon. So um, let's see. First thing we've got to do, I've got the site here. Uh, I'm going to go to, actually let me go to Google real quick. Show you how I found this site. Just type in uh, make a favicon or favicon generator or anything like that. And this site here, tools uh, dynamic drive.com slash favicon is the one I use. It works really well. Uh, you can just upload a image that you want to use for your favicon, and then it will create the .ico file. So I'm just going to, for this example, just use the WordPress logo to keep it real simple. So uh, then just create icon and then download favicon. And save file. Okay, so here we have the uh, original picture I, I used, just the WordPress logo, and then the new uh, favicon.ico file that the site just generated. So the next thing you want to do is upload it to your site. And there's, uh, you want to use FTP. And then the, uh, you just want to upload it just straight to the main directory of where your uh, WordPress is installed. So on this site, I've just got uh, WordPress just installed right on the front directory. So I'm going to go ahead and drag favicon.ico and just upload that. And then the other place you want to put it is in your themes folder. I'm using 2011. So you also want to upload it to there. So right there, I've uploaded it in two different places. My theme folder, which would be... Uh, you go to WP Content, Themes, and then pick the theme you're using, and then upload it into there. All right, after you've done that, you want to grab a little snippet of code, which I've got right here. And uh, in the description of this video, there should be a link back to the blog post that I'm going to post this video on, on Profit Blogs. So you can go there, and uh, if you just want to cut and paste this link, also you can get it off of uh, WordPress org's codex. Uh, that's actually where I got it. So I'll have a link to there as well on the blog post. Uh, so anyway, take this snippet of code and you're going to copy it. Copy. And then you want to go into the back end of your site. Go to editor. And you want to find your header file. So header.php And you want to put that, uh, it's right in the uh, header area, it's a uh, link. Uh, the way I like to do it, I just find the other ones that say link, uh, and then I just put it there by the style sheet and a few other things. So I'm just going to paste it right in there. And it basically just tells the uh, browser when anybody visits your site that that's where your favicon.ico is. All right, so I'm going to hit update and that's actually it uh, let's go visit the site again let me refresh and there we go you can see that it's showing up right there and and then also in the back end here in the dashboard it also shows up uh, sometimes you've got to restart your browser or uh, refresh a few times for it to show up but it will uh, it will eventually show up so that's how to set up your favicon on your wordpress site uh, there are some themes, uh, like some of the themes I use have an option where you can just set your favicon. And uh, I'll show you that in a different video, uh, which also sometimes causes a problem because it doesn't uh, set the favicon in the back end in the admin area of your website. So I'll show how to do that in a different video. But just for just a basic WordPress site, uh, just you know, with nothing fancy, um, this, is, this is how to do it. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it works for you. 
Uh, check out the blog, leave a comment either here under this video or over at the blog and uh, let us know if this worked for you, if you had any questions or anything like that. So thanks and we'll talk to you later.